Hey, welcome back to um, my exploration of Corora and all the different desktops they provide. Um, this time I'm not going from the login screen because um, as I'm exploring Cinnamon here, um, Cinnamon apparently does not have a, a graceful fallback to where it runs well without um, hardware rendering on this system, you know? Um, so GNOME ran it well, KDE ran well. This one tends to run a bit slower, so I'm not going to make you guys sit through the login screen. It does look um, more like the KD one, nice and colorful and all that stuff. And this is from the Grand Canyon. I took this picture of the Grand Canyon. So um, so when I was speaking about GNOME um, last time, I mentioned that I really, really used to like GNOME 2, but then they changed for GNOME 3, and I really didn't like it. Corora has two different attempts to bring back that feeling of GNOME 2. This one is Cinnamon, and next time we'll explore Mate. So Cinnamon is taking, excuse me for a second, is taking the background technologies, GTK and Clutter, which run um, GNOME 3, but making it behave more like GNOME 2. So you see here we have, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, you see here we have multiple desktops, now, um, I don't know if you're allowed to have different um, backgrounds per desktop, but you know, just you can see on the top here that I'm switching desktops. And GNOME kind of got away from that idea. They went more for their activity thing. Um, see this, you can see here, they're basically, what they've done is they've kind of modified GNOME 3 to make it behave more like GNOME 2. And you'll see um, next time that uh, Mate is quite different. Um, but here's here's the menu that uh, we all know and love. Well, I mean, slightly different. It's more of a um, Linux Mint menu, but still, it's a it's a closer menu to what we see in Windows. A closer menu to um, what we're used to with GNOME 2. Um, and you see, everything is organized. Like I said last time, there's plus and minuses to it. Um, in general, once I get to know the applications, I tend to type the names up here. But um, when you're looking for something, hmm, what do we have in sound and video? You can kind of take a look here and see. As usual for um, Corora, we have VLC and Handbrake and other things from the um, non-free repositories. This looks um, similar to what we had as a um, bar on the side for um, GNOME uh, 3, but instead it's up here. Um, but you know, you have the same shortcuts, settings, and Thunderbird. And, well, Thunderbird instead of Evolution, that's one difference. But it's mostly the same. Um, so, and then here we have desklets, which um, I mentioned last time I used to um, customize my desktop. Um, so if I look at the available ones, I've got all kinds of stuff: AccuWeather, and Drive Manager, and Sticky Notes, and all the cool stuff that I used to use with GNOME 2. So, um, this could be, um, you know, for someone that that liked GNOME 2, this could be a really great um, replacement. Um, but you're still getting all the nice modern technologies of um, GNOME 3. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, this is a much shorter look than some of the other ones, but you know, it's kind of just building on what we looked at with GNOME 3 and then seeing how it's different for this. So I'll see you next time um, when we take a look at um, Corora um, 22, because 23 hasn't been released yet. That's pretty much the only bad thing about using Corora versus Fedora. You get everything configured um, by default, but it takes a lot longer to go to the next version. Um, but anyway, we'll do Corora 22 Mate next time. See you.